everybody. Welcome back to All South Outdoors. Today we're in the beautiful South Central Kentucky at the cabin. You might remember this place from last year where we shot the old muzzleloader. Uh, another thing I'd like to talk about is if you like, share, and subscribe, it helps me very much and it helps me enjoy coming out here and get the video out to more people. And it really helps. I enjoy doing this kind of stuff, fishing, hunting. That's that's my that's my thing. So if you'd do that, that'd help me so much. Today we are going to be shooting a Dixie Gunworks muzzleloader. It's called a Mountain Moon Rifle. Tennessee Mountain Rifle, actually. Yeah. It's uh these are built in Union City, Tennessee. It's got a forty-one and a half inch uh, octane barrel. I don't think the barrel is swamped on these. What they call a swamped barrel, but. Uh, these, this model particularly was made in, um, the early seventies. They were made for a few years. They're really a great rifle. Uh, we love the patina finish. Beautiful. Got a good antique look to it. Yep. They actually have a cherry stock, um, which is kind of neat instead of walnut or, or hickory or something else or cherry stock. Um, this one's in 50 caliber. Uh, Kellen recently acquired this from a good friend of ours and, uh, we hadn't shot it, um, so we're going to give her a try here. We got a target out there at about 60 yards. And uh, it's going to give you a try, see what happens. Um, it's a, if you want to talk about the rifle, it's a 50 caliber, of course. We're just shooting 50 caliber lead balls. Yeah. Kellen's got some, uh, our patches there. What are they? Ten, are they 10,000? 10,000 slew patches. Yeah, 10,000 slew patches. Already got her loaded up, got a cap on it. Ready to go. Um, Again, as I'd like to reiterate what Kellen said too. We really appreciate y'all uh, watching our videos. And like I said, the more people, or he says, the more people that uh, like, share, and subscribe, the more viewerships he gets. And he's, you know, for a 12-year-old kid, it's pretty cool. He's trying to reach people his own age as well as adults. And um, the more that people do that, the more views he gets and the more people get to see it. So it helps everybody it helps everybody it helps yeah. me it helps people learn and help me learn yeah we hadn't done these videos in quite some time kellen um if you want to talk a little bit about what we've been uh, doing all summer long so pretty much mostly just baseball i mean baseball's been everything uh this year for 12u we went to the state championships we won it um got to go to national so to to the that was that was yep. a great big thing so we've been playing a lot of bonus baseball after regular season he and his buddies have so yeah, it was a lot of fun i enjoyed doing that too sports are my thing too so all right well you want to bust a cap on her and see what happens oh well, yeah why not we've talked about a sight picture as far as uh how he's going to aim it and all that so and where we're going to hold on the target of course it's important when you're shooting anything with iron sights you have to you know kind of remember your sight picture if that sight picture changes then obviously that'll change the point of impact as well so anyway this rifle is equipped with a set trigger. So that's something a little different for some. It is the old style rifle for sure. About 60 yards. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right. had just a little bit of delayed fire there i don't know if it was a her nipple might have had something in it kill yeah it delayed a little bit yeah probably after he shoot it a few more times that was his first that shot of course shot yeah day. yeah and hey look where it hit if you can't see it yeah we could walk down there right oh yeah come on let's go Okay, so what me and dad talked about where to aim, right there. Yeah. Exactly where we told me to aim. Yeah. So she's pretty dang good. It ain't bad. I know that was our reference point was to shoot at the top of this right here, yeah. post with an even bead and uh, right toward the bottom of the diamond. And we're an inch off. So <laughs> pretty good. And actually, we're not at 60. I thought, if you remember, we moved the picnic table up to get back in the shade. So, so it'd be about 55. 55. Yeah. So pretty good. Really good, actually. 
So, yep, good stuff. Yeah. Well, um, I'm impressed. I'm impressed too. I'm ready to shoot it a few more times now. Me too. And, uh, Enjoy it. That rifle has a 41 and a half inch barrel. That's crazy how long it is. It's, it's, it don't uh, seem that long, but it's long. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you start packing it. Yeah. We'll have to, uh, for you to shoot that off the ground, we'll definitely have to get out the old shooting sticks to prop it up on, but to try to take a deer with it. So, all right, man, you got anything else you want to add? Um, like I said, start the video, just like, share, and subscribe. It helps me so much. I'd appreciate it. And it just, like I said, helps me get everybody get everybody out the video out to everybody and just so it increase it increases it. your viewership from what i understand yeah. we're not we're not huge youtubers we're just kind of learning that too as we go so this is this is what we enjoy though it doesn't really matter what we're doing uh shooting hunting fishing hiking you know messing with old bows whatever the important part of this and we've stated it a few times i know he has even when he was younger we've been doing this what six years now i guess probably Easily six, six yeah seven. The most important part is uh, it's not necessarily the subject matter of what we're doing. It's the idea that we're getting to spend time together. So yep. always good stuff. All right. Appreciate it, man. Right. And, uh, See you know, join us again maybe soon on the, on the old style outdoors. All right. See you.